Ballots for the November election hit the mail today, which means that voters will soon be making decisions and elections workers are already getting more physical protection from threats by conspiracy theorists and extremists. Politics guy Marshall Zellinger joins us from the Denver election office where they used to offer a live stream of their work, but Marshall, now they worry that that act of transparency could put their people in danger. Right, and getting rid of it, nothing funny is going on. Security cameras similar to the bubble just over the front entrance here. Those are always recording. The live stream was just a perk. It's not the only security change being made at the election office here in Denver. These bollards just went up recently because there was concern that someone was going to drive a car through the sidewalk off Bannock through the front entrance of the election office. So getting rid of the live stream in comparison is pretty tame. Cameras record everything related to the processing of your election ballot, from the ballot drop box to the ballots being received inside the clerk's office to preparing them to be counted, to me shooting video of one of the security cameras. It is all recorded, and Denver shared that footage in real time as a live stream online, something that gave voters a behind-the-scenes look and gave me and Kyle a chance to fill time at 7 p.m. on election nights while waiting for the first results to upload. If you want to be a nerd like me, uh, you can go to the Denver Elections website, and watch the processing of ballots happening in real time. These videos will not be streamed starting this election. We've discovered recently that there are significant threats uh, to uh, to our elections personnel. Denver clerk and recorder Paul Lopez is only pulling the plug on the live stream. The cameras still record and the footage must be kept for 25 months. It's something that we, we're going to do to protect uh, the election system, but also to protect workers from getting doxxed or harassed or anything like that. He's worried about election conspiracy theorists trying to identify election workers through the live stream. I don't want to be in a point where we wait until something happens in order to do it. A lot of those theorists are, he are here in El Paso County and they've actually applauded my move. Republican El Paso County Clerk Steve Schleicher will debut a new live stream of 24-hour ballot drop boxes. Per Colorado statute is we have to keep this stuff for 25 months but um, our records here is we can maintain them in the cloud for up to 10 years. Ballots are collected from drop boxes by two election workers of opposing parties, and that will be recorded and live streamed at all 39 ballot drop boxes in and around Colorado Springs. The video, just like any county's election security cameras, are public records that can be requested for review. Embedding these videos out onto my website for the citizens of El Paso County is I'm now providing this information for free. No matter what county you're in, every ballot drop box is monitored by 24-hour video surveillance. And if you want to watch the processing after it leaves the box and it's inside the building and you're bothered that the live stream is gone, there are viewing windows. I believe most counties have these. Denver certainly has viewing windows that do not require a Wi-Fi connection. It just requires you to actually leave the house and show up in person to watch. Marshall, what do you think the chances are that that convinces one conspiracy theorist? <laughs> Maybe. 50 percent? You're such 51 percent? You're such a hopeful guy. Such a hopeful guy. That's why we like you. Marshall, thank you.